What up everybody, it's your girl Watch Me Cough and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're gonna be talking about OnlyFans and also you guys are gonna get to meet my puppy. Oh my gosh, she is literally one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I've been meaning to make this video for like the last couple like weeks, honestly, and I haven't got around to it and she's actually in her kennel right now sleeping. You can probably hear her little, her little pant. Um, so actually, yeah, I'm just gonna grab her out of here and you guys are gonna get to meet her. Her name is Fiona. Come here, baby. Her name is Fiona and she's, good morning. It's actually the evening time here, but. <laughs> Hi, princess. She is part lab and border collie. Oh, she's a big girl. <laughs> Hello, baby. This is my girl. Oh, this is my little pumpkin. She is uh, four months now. I got her when she was eight weeks. Say hi. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi to mama's friends. Yeah. So this is, she's super rambunctious. She's so cute. Oh my God. She's literally my best friend. She's been taking a nap for about an hour, so she's going to be crazy. But yeah, this is what's been taking up a lot of my time. Oh, bless you. This is what's been taking up a lot of my time, keeping me super busy. Can I see your little face? Isn't she the cutest thing you've ever seen? Like, oh my gosh. So this is what's been taking up most of my time. Okay, you want to get down? Okay, you get down. That's when she's been taking up most of my time during um, this last little bit of the pandemic. And yeah, you wanna say hi? Yeah. You say hi? Yeah, Funkin. She's seriously like just, ugh, my favorite thing ever. Sorry. But yeah, so uh, this is what I've been wanting to introduce you guys to. Yeah. She's my best friend. They mean it. Dogs are really like just a girl's best friend. Oh my God. This just snapped. <laughs> okay, give me a second, you guys. Let me just fix my fucking wardrobe malfunction and I'll be back. So yeah, I'm so happy you guys were able to meet her. Hey, can you just chill? Can you just chill? <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so uh, other than meeting her in this video, I'm just going to talk about my OnlyFans a little bit. Um, I just passed my year, um, my year mark of doing OnlyFans. And um, I just have a couple things that I wanted to tell you guys before uh, before the new year gets started. Um, just some tips and tricks of stuff that I've learned that I haven't already told you guys. And then also some, um, or excuse me, what I made in the last year. So, I wrote everything down right here. So, I'm just going to share um, some of the things that I've learned over the last year that I think might be helpful for you guys going forward. So, the first thing is scheduling posts. Um, I know with the, uh, like the, uh, the pandemic relief coming to an end, a lot of people are trying to get back to work. And that's really unfortunate for some people because some people are, you know, I mean, compromised and whatnot. So it's going to be really hard for some people to get back into work. But um, those that are getting back into work that are still wanting to do um, OnlyFans, um, scheduling posts, that's going to be like a huge thing for you. So like you can, um, you can take like a pic, like pictures for like a week out in advance, like you could get you know, a couple things to wear, a couple different pieces of lingerie or whatever you wear in your OnlyFans. And you could shoot for like a week in advance, like in one day, one or two days. And then you can schedule all those photos in advance with all the captions and whatnot. So you're not even having to worry about like, oh shit, I'm not, I'm not posting every day. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Um, you're still going to want to be on there, like replying to people that are messaging you. Um, but like the uh, the headache of posting every single day won't be there because you'll have the post scheduled in advance already. So 
that's hugely helpful for anybody that is looking to get back into work and might not have time during the week or is just going to be tired when they get home and not want to like take pictures and whatnot the scheduling post feature is going to be your best friend um next um and this is one i just like recently started getting into um is the pay to view um i was just doing one of those like maybe like once a month honestly but i've realized how much money you can actually make from the pay to view um so what 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 that means if you guys don't know what that means if you guys are just like looking to get into only fans or if you um just don't know what it is um it's pretty much you can send out like these mass messages to your all your fans or the just the people that you want to um and they have to pay to view the content that you're sending them you can put a preview on there that's optional so you don't have to put a preview on there or not um sometimes that helps because it gives people kind of the incentive and kind of the idea of what they're buying so um yeah you can send that out like in the morning or whatever and it makes it just makes them feel like you're thinking about them and um and you can make a lot of money from that like little um uh, little three dollar cute pictures like okay let me let me give you an example a uh, picture that you take like where you don't even think you look that cute like at all and you just throw it up as a three dollar pay to view uh photo you could have depending on how many fans you have like you could have like you know 30 people buy that picture and um that adds up after a while you know what i mean it might be just be a three dollar picture but if like multiple people are buying that like you're gonna see some money that's gonna that's gonna make a difference right okay so uh next one um and this is like one i haven't heard really anybody talk about so i'm kind of excited to to share this one um silent fans are still fans so I've had people that have been subscribed to my OnlyFans since day one of having OnlyFans. And they've never said a word to me. They've bought content. They don't like the pictures or anything like on your main feed. But they are still fans. Like they, a lot of people think that just because they're silent doesn't mean that, they're, that they don't like you. It's like they paid for your OnlyFans to begin with. Of course they like you. So... Um, make sure that you're not like excluding people, um, from like those pay to view pictures and stuff like that, just because they never talk, because that could be one of your biggest tippers. You just never know. Um, next one, do not sleep on, um, only fans stories. A lot of people don't use the only fans stories, um, because they don't think that it's valuable that's not true use your OnlyFans stories and use it for promotion because most people that are getting on OnlyFans, if they see your little bubble they want to see what you're posting about like they want to see oh that extra content like what's what is that they're gonna click on it they're gonna see you know whatever you have on there they're gonna see so make sure you're not sleeping on those and make sure that you just take cute little promo pictures like take one of the pictures that you were gonna post fiona stop it stop it yeah you wiggle my camera take one of the pictures that you were gonna post and maybe like cover it up and then like put it on there and be like tip me five dollars for the for the uh the unrated version super easy um next one that i um am gonna tell you guys i haven't used this one only like maybe like the last like two months i wish i would have been using this before Sorry, Fiona's right here. So if my camera jiggles, just know she's down here messing shit up. <laughs> um, so I saw this and then I started using it. Okay, come here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, bitch girl. Stop it. Stop it right now. What is she doing to me? Okay. Let's see if I can get my book and sit with her. Pin a post to the top of your... Stop it. Stop it right now. Pin a page, or excuse me, pin one of your posts to the top of your page so that when people come to your page, if they're new, they see that post um, and they can tip on it. Put a large, put a large tip amount on there so that it can stay up there for a while. Like put it as like a thousand dollar limit so that when people come to the page, they see that post and that if they see, you know, a majority of people, if they see that people have already tipped on it are more more apt to tip on it as well 
So there's that. I've only been using that for the last couple months, but I hear you can make a lot of money on that. It's like a little secret tip. So uh, my next one, super easy uh, tip and trick is just make sure you're always answering your fans messages. Like if you don't answer your fans messages, they're going to feel like you just don't give a shit and you want to give a shit, right? <laughs> so make sure you're like not neglecting the people that are on your fan page. Um, next one, don't, this is huge. Do not sell yourself short, period. Like, do not put your, who's that? Do not put your OnlyFans account on sale for $2 because that's what you're going to attract. You're going to attract, like, B-R-O-K-E, motherfuckers. Because someone that is subscribing for $2, yes, it's $2, but it's like, they just want to see, like, what, what it is. A majority of people that have tipped me, that have been my best tippers, are people that have subscribed for the full amount, for the full subscription price. I know. I know. So, don't sell yourself short. Like, don't do it. Okay, this next one. Just because October is coming up, I wanted to mention this is kind of my last one. And then I'm going to tell you guys how much I made and what my kind of uh, ideas going forward are going to be with, you know, only fans full and all that fuck shit about you couldn't post no, no bullshit. So I got some things in the work and I'll share that with you guys after this one. So October, I know that I've shared this in the past, but my, my year last year in October was hands down my best month that I've ever had in my career of only fans, like hands down. I did a picture, a costume for every single day of the month. And how was I able to do that? I ordered all my lingerie and all of my costumes and stuff from Sheen. I went to the Dollar Tree. I shopped on discounted racks at Walmart. Like I like went around to certain places, Goodwill as well. Like they have a lot of costume stuff for inexpensive stuff. So like use what you have already, Sheen, Goodwill is like one of the secrets, like one of the secret places that not a lot of people go for Halloween stuff. Get you a couple costumes. Get, you know, if you don't want to do 31, I totally under understand it. It was a lot of fucking work. Like, oh my God, it was a lot of work, but it was worth it because I made a lot of money. Um, but yeah, so just go get you a couple outfits, get you, you know, five or six, seven, eight, 30. I don't know how many outfits you, you, you want to do and, uh, and take some cute, uh, Halloween pictures and like, Offer those sets as like, you know, $31, 31 days. You know what I mean? Um, offer those in uh, sets. Um, also like taking pictures with like your girlfriends. Like you guys don't have to be completely nude or anything like that. Like just like sexy pictures of you guys like in sexy Halloween costumes. Like people dig that shit. So um, I'm going to be doing that again this year. I got to get on the sheen and order some new stuff. But I'm going to be using a variety of things I have from last year because I have so much stuff. And then, yeah, and then after Halloween, you can use all that stuff again, all that laundry that you bought. You can mix and match all the things that you got. Like, you guys, it's a win-win. Win-win, motherfuckers. Like, for real. Um, okay, so I'm going to share kind of like what I have going on, and then I'll tell you guys how much I made. Um, so I know all of you guys know that OnlyFans was like pulling all that shit where they were saying that we couldn't post anything new. And... They lost, I guarantee you, they lost a lot of money when they, when, when that came out, people were deciding on what they wanted to do. People were canceling their accounts, not only people, you know, content creators, but a lot of people that, um, are subscribed to these page girls lost money. Like it was just all sorts of bullshit and it really made people start to look, i.e. me, it really made people start to look at, okay, OnlyFans isn't the only platform that does this shit. Like you guys fucked up. They lost people that they'll never get back. The only reason why I'm still doing it is because I have been able to stay successful on there. Um, but I got a couple other things that I'm looking at. And so I'm going to do some research into that. I'm, I'm still doing Snapchat Premium and whatnot. Um, but I have a couple things, you know, the uh, Just for Fans, uh, Patreon, you know, a couple other of the streaming platforms. I am going to try out and I am going to see if I can, if, if I like one better, I'll see if I can pull my subscribers over there. You know what I mean? If not, no harm, no foul. But it just made me really take a step back and look and be, realize that like, you know, only you're not the only, you guys aren't the only people that do this. 
made me want to start my own shit. You know what I mean? So, um, for anybody feeling discouraged about what they did, please don't. There are so many other platforms that you can use to be successful. Like, you don't have to use OnlyFans. Um, so, yeah. Um, those are kind of all the tips and tricks. Hey, what you doing? Look at this. Look at this dog. What you doing? Crazy girl. Um, so pretty much that's it. Um, I'm the last thing I'm going to share is how much that I, how much I made during my first year of OnlyFans. Um, so I started, uh, last September. Yeah. So it's been about a year. Um, I made just a little bit over $10,000 in the last 12 months. So that has really helped me, you know, be able to just stay current on a lot of things that I've already, you know, all my bills and whatnot. That's been helping me out. And it's just been really good to just have that extra income because, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of extra money. And so it's been nice. Um, that doesn't uh, include how much I made on uh, Snapchat Premium. Um, I probably made like four or five thousand dollars on there too. And I use Cash App through, for all that. So that's even better because they only charge like a very small percentage for to cash out your money. So that's a way if you're not wanting to pay the 20%, like that's another another you know avenue you can go in. Fiona, stop moving my camera girl. Stop moving my camera girl. Alright. But yeah, I mean that's about it. I'm gonna just be going forward. I'm gonna start taking, you know, um, October photos and whatnot. So I will keep you guys um, posted. If you guys have any other questions, feel feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'll have all my links and whatnot. Um, and make sure that if you are planning on um, starting at OnlyFans, click my referral link down in the uh, down in the comment section below. That helps me out a little bit. And that's also another thing. If you have a referral link, use that bitch. Like I made a lot of money off of there too. So um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my puppy. Let's see if she'll come over here. Come here. Come here, pumpkin. Hi. Hi. You wanna come say bye-bye? Let me grab her to say goodbye to you guys. Hang on. Alrighty. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And we love you. We love you and thank you so much for being loyal subscribers. And if you're not, please hit that subscribe button. Me and Fiona would appreciate it. We love you. Bye. Fiona, sit. Shake. Oh, good shake. Good shake, pumpkin.